What's up, person who clicked that thumbnail? You're wondering if you should buy the ROG PG49 WCD, or at least are sufficiently curious to hear more about it. Short answer, yes, it's a beautiful monitor. We'll get to the long answer later, but before we do, we need to break down the question some more. The PG49 WCD is an OLED curved monitor. Both of those are still uncommon, so let's explore if either of those is right for you. Starting with OLED, the picture quality of an OLED is unmatched by any other type of panel. IPS, VA, TN, doesn't matter. All of those are garbage compared to how gorgeous OLED screens look. And they make anything look good. Games just pop, videos are stunning, even boring things like Word files or Excel sheets look better, are more digestible, repulse you less when they are on an OLED screen. That said, OLED refresh rates are not as fast as those of other panels. The PG49 WCD has a 144Hz refresh rate, which personally for me is more than enough. Like a pro gamer that needs bonkers rates over 144Hz. And to be fair, there are a lot of monitors now that easily do around 166Hz. You shouldn't be considering an OLED. But if you don't need that millisecond advantage which extreme refresh rates can give you, if you care more about immersion and getting the best possible picture quality, OLED is the king. Next, curved. Monitors are usually flat, so just the thought of having the screen bend slightly towards you can feel weird if you haven't tried it yet. I wouldn't worry though, it's very easy to get used to and the curve does add to the immersion, especially in some games like racing or sim games. Moreover, for large screen sizes, and for me that would be 38 inches and up, a curved screen is more practical because it's easier to slice up the screen space into usable sections. I have an ROG PG48UQ, that's an OLED 48 inch traditional square monitor. And my preference on that monitor is to only have two windows on it open. That just seems to be the most usable for me. On the PG49 WCD though, I was able to have three windows open comfortably. The curve makes the added screen real estate more productive. Because of the curve, the proportions are obviously different and a lot of games don't default to the best resolution for a curved monitor. To get the most out of it, you do need to be comfortable manually setting your resolution in-game to what looks best for you. With the right resolution though, the games look awesome. So at this point, we've cleared that OLED is for you and Curve is for you, or at the very least, you don't mind the curve. Time to get specific. Is the ROG PG49 WCD the right curved OLED for you, person who clicked the thumbnail? Starting with the traditional strength of an OLED panel, the picture quality. Now, because of the channel and because I like monitors in general, I've been lucky to see and use a lot of monitors over the years, many of them pretty good. But the best one I've tried is the PG49 WCD. And that's weird because I already have an OLED, a pretty damn good OLED, in the PG48UQ. But everything on the PG49 WCD just seemed a little brighter, a little glossier. You know how you're in a good mood and everything around you just pops a bit more. The monitor is like that. The PG49 WCD is like having a happy filter, which shows you how something would look like as if you're in a good mood. Like how you are when you're really interested in the video that you're watching, or you're super into the game that you're playing. I couldn't rationally explain why the PG49 WCD seemed slightly better looking. It was only later when I was reading the technical specs, and for reviews, I always use an item a long time before bothering with the technical specs because I care more about what the product is actually like to use rather than how it's expected, intended, theoretically supposed to be like, which is how you can get waylaid, distracted, confused, if you get too hung up over specs. But anyway, thanks to the specs, I found out that this is a quantum dot OLED. QD is an OLED flavor which is supposed to have superior brightness and even richer colors. I'm not one to fall for marketing hype, but as I mentioned, 
everything on the PG49WCD just seemed a notch better compared to my PG48UQ. This was especially true when you have contrasting colors like in the night scenes of Cyberpunk. CP2077's daytime scenes are just alright for me on any monitor. But at night, with the garish neon of the world throwing color everywhere and there's rain and there's smoke, CP2077 is awesome for those scenes. You really appreciate the immersion and picture quality that the PG49WCD delivers. You really appreciate the graphics engine underneath the hood of that game. As mentioned, a 144Hz refresh rate is still very zippy, and I played a lot of CS2 on the PG49WCD. Refresh rate was just fine. No screen tearing or jaggedness or anything which would mar the experience. I died a lot, but that was my fault, not the monitors. So it does well with any type of game that you throw at it. Hopefully, you'll be gaming a lot with this monitor, but inevitably, you'll also have to do some work. The curved screen, since its size is mostly focused on the X horizontal axis, gives you a lot more usable screen real estate compared to an equally large but traditional sized monitor. I was comfortably able to have three windows open at the same time and that really boosted my productivity. A multi-monitor setup is still the best for me, I have four of them behind me, but if your desk space won't allow that, then this huge curved screen is an ideal alternative. As I've come to expect from the ASUS OLEDs, text and videos were all sharp and clear, even at the higher resolutions this monitor is capable of. That's important since sharp is no good if you have to be squinting all of the time to see what you're typing. But with the PG49WCD, no squinting, no eye strain. Video playback is excellent as you would expect, Although, if you are fond of watching video files, you'll notice that a lot of them, all of them, just don't have the proper aspect ratio needed to fully cover the screen. Games can be resized relatively on the fly, video files cannot. ASUS is getting better and better with their OLEDs, and there were some subtle quality of life improvements over last year's PG48UQ. In particular, the PG49WCD woke up faster. Once you stroke the mouse over to the display, it goes from its dim, screen-saving state to full brightness pretty quickly. In contrast, I've noticed that the PG48UQ doesn't wake up as fast. Sometimes I'll be watching a video or doing some other work, and the screen will still be noticeably dimmer, and I'll need to do some other activity to fully wake it up. A general concern about OLEDs is their lifespan. It's cool that they're so beautiful, but a year later, are you going to be waking up to dead pixels? I can't comment on the longevity of the PG49WCD. I only had it for a couple of weeks. But I did a full video recently on my PG48UQ and more than a year later, it has zero dead pixels, zero problems. So I can vouch that Asus OLEDs appear to be durable. That may be because of the custom cooler they have at the rear of the monitor. I'm not technical enough to know if that makes a difference. But that cooler is on both the PG48UQ and the PG49WCD, so the two appear to share design elements. Hopefully, the PG49WCD turns out to be as sturdy as the PG48UQ, which I'm happy to say is reliable. To sum everything up, this is a gorgeous monitor. It elevates everything you ask it to display, and the curve format actually makes sense given its size. Quality and size don't come cheap, but at least you're certainly getting your money's worth on this one. Thanks for clicking that thumbnail, and hope this video was worth your time. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.